Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about Linux Mint 21 Mate vs Cinnamon. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, both of these Linux distributions are based on Ubuntu and they both come as a long-term support. It means you will keep on getting the software updates and security patches for the next 5 years. But Mate and Cinnamon are two different desktop environments that gets used for Linux Mint distribution. So we'll see what are the differences between both of them. First of all, I'll start with Mate. Well, Mate is a result of Genome 3's controversial setup from the Genome 2 to Genome 3 and Mate desktop is free, open source and it is available for a wide range of Linux distros. Around 20 Linux distributions supports Mate desktop environment and Mate desktop is the official continuation of the Genome 2. Now, this is how the desktop looks like. It's a very clean and a very sleek one. Other than that, down here we have the bar in which we have different menus, different icons and we have different widgets. If I just click on this Linux Mint icon, basically it will open the menus for me. This is how it looks like and here they have gone with the light theme. Here we have some of the applications that you can access directly from here. Other than that, you have some places or you can say some directories that you can access directly from here. Along with the icons, we also have their labels. Down here we have some of the system application that we can access directly from here. In case, if you want to open all the applications, here you have a button, just click on it and it will open all applications for you. Other than that, here if you see, here you have the categories of applications. For example, if you want to look for an application that belongs to Office, just hover over to Office and you will have all the applications related to it in front of you. Same goes for sound and videos, then we have system tools and we have other categories here as well. So this is how the menu look like. Other than that, on the menu bar or you can say on the below bar, here we have some of the icons of application. We have Mozilla Firefox, Terminal and we have our file browser. Other than that, we have some of the controls on the right side of our screen. Here we have date and calendar. Then we have volume control, internet and we have Bluetooth connectivity in here. So in terms of the arrangement of the menus and different applications, it has been done very nicely. Now let's talk about the kernel version that Linux Mint Mate is using. So for that purpose, I have to open my terminal. So I'll just do that. And now I'll use a command as NeoFetch. I'll hit enter. So here, if you see the kernel that Linux Mint Mate is using is 5.15, which is quite the latest one. It means you will have the support available for different hardware resources and different hardware components as well. Other than that, you can see we have different other informations in here. These are the packages that belongs to DPKG. Then we have the shell version as bash 5.1.16. And in terms of desktop environment here, you can see we have Mate available. Down here, we have the system memory about the resources. I'll talk about that later in detail. For a moment, I'll just close this one. And now let's talk about the file manager. So here I have my file browser. I'll just click on this one. So this is how it looks like and again they have used a light theme in here. Everything is arranged very nicely and on the left side we have different locations or you can say different places that we can access directly with one click. Other than that if you see they have used very good combination of colors in here. If I go to help section click on about. Well Linux Mint Mate uses Kaja as file manager. Linux Mint Cinnamon uses a different one. So that was all about the file manager or file browser. I'll just close this one and now this time I'll again open my terminal and this time I'll show you about the resource usage. For that purpose, I'll open a utility as htop. I'll hit enter and here we have all the information of processes that are running at the moment, honor of the processes and how much resources are being used by each process. At the top, we have summary of all the information. For example, at the moment, Linux Mint Mate is using around 820 megabyte of memory, which is not a very high amount of memory. And remember, at the moment, I have only opened my terminal into my system and I have opened nothing else. So it's a quite efficient and quite effective desktop environment that you can consider. So that was all about the memory and resource usage. I'll just close this one. 
and now I'll talk about the image viewer. Let me open the menu. I'll search for image. Here it is. If I just click on this, well, there is no difference between Linux Mint Mate and Linux Mint Cinnamon because both Linux Mint Cinnamon and Mate uses the X viewer as the default image viewer, and it's a very great software that is based on Genome as well. I'll just close this one and now let's talk about the text editor. So for that purpose again, I'll press my super key. I'll look for text and here we have the text editor. I'll just click on it. And this is another thing that is common between Linux Mint Cinnamon and Mate as both of them use the same one. And it's a very lightweight text editor that you will see. I'll just close this one as well. And now let's talk about the software manager. So I'll just press my super key and I'll look for software and here we have software manager i'll just open this one and let's see how does it look like at the moment it is generating our cache so we have to wait for it this is how the software manager looks like and again the theme is light in here and for the banner they have used ink space in here down here we have different categories or different application just like we had in our menu but from here if you just click on any one of these it will show you all the available applications related to that particular category for example if I click on games, it will show you all the games that are available for you to download and you can play them. For example, here we have Vine that will help you to install and play different Windows based game and Windows based application. Not only that, we also have support available for Steam. And if I go back down here, we have different applications that we can download and install. And if I go to its about section, here we have all the information about our software manager and it is mint install that it is using as a software manager that was all about it i'll just close this one i'll close this one as well and at the end i'll show to you that how does it look like at the lock screen so for that purpose i'll go to my menu i'll click on my lock screen button let's see how does it look like well this is how it looks like and again it is using the light theme and from here i just need to enter my password and i'm good to go and there is one thing that you must have noticed and that is here we have a separate prompt in which we have different options like unlock switch user leave message etc in many linux distribution you will not see something like this you will see a field in which you will have your username and you'll be allowed to enter a password and that's it but here we have very detailed one now i'll just hit enter and we are good to go so that was all about the linux mint mate and now let's shift to linux mint cinnamon and let's talk about it this is Linux Mint Cinnamon and this is how it looks like. Well, in terms of the desktop background, both of them are more or less same. The only difference you will see on the desktop is we have a computer and home directory available on the desktop and that was not available on Linux Mint Mate. Other than that, we have almost everything same. Down here, if we talk about the bar in which we have menu, different applications and we have some widgets, both of them are similar. Only difference is in between the colors. Okay, if I just click on this menu button, but before that, let's talk about the desktop environment, which is Cinnamon. Well, Linux Mint Cinnamon or a Cinnamon desktop environment is the original Linux Mint project that is developed by Linux Mint itself. And again, it's a free and open source project for X Windows system. And it's a four of Genome 3, but it prefers to have the traditional desktop metaphor conventions. And again, many Linux distributions uses this desktop environment. Now let's talk about other things or other aspect of this particular desktop environment in Linux Mint. Well, let's talk about the menu. So I'll just click on this menu button and here we have all the menus available. Okay, the difference is pretty obvious in here. Linux Mint Cinnamon uses dark theme for the menu. And not only that, there is some other differences as well. In Linux Mint Cinnamon, we had applications and their icons along with their labels under the places section but we do not have anything like that other than that we had a button that says all application at the top right corner but here we have all applications and down here we have all the categories of all applications for the linux Mint. and again if you hover over to any one of these you will have all the details of all the applications that belong to particular category in front of you so let's click on all applications button and it will show you everything in here. So that is the main difference between menus of Linux Mint Cinnamon and Mate. Other than that, we have the same applications like Mozilla Firefox, Terminal, File Browser. And here we have our date in which we'll have our calendar if you just click on it. Other than that, we have our volume, we have our networks, Bluetooth, etc. So this was a little bit of difference 
in terms of menu between Linux Mint Cinnamon and Linux Mint Mate. Now let's talk about the kernel of Linux Mint Cinnamon. So for that purpose, I'll open my terminal and in that I'll use a command again as NeoFetch and I'll hit enter. Well, Linux Mint Cinnamon also uses 5.15 kernel and in terms of packages, we have 2074 packages available or it is using at the moment. Then in terms of desktop environment here, we have Cinnamon 5.4.12. Down here we have rest of the information and here we have the CPU and GPU information. I'll just close this one and now let's talk about the file manager. So I'll just click on this files button or files icon. This is how it looks like. If you remember in Linux Mint Mate that was using yellow color for the icons of the folder. But now here we have green color and on the left side we have gray on the background and black on the foreground. And other than that, there is no much difference. Yes, if I just go to help section and if I go to about and as I mentioned earlier that Linux Mint Cinnamon uses a different file manager and it is Nemo, which it is right here as you can see. I'll just close this one and here are different places, directories or you can say different folders that you can access directly from here. Other than that, we have some of the menus that we can access and that allows you to have different views in terms of your file explorer or your file manager here we have tree view then we have hide the sidebar it means if you want to hide this one you can just click on this one and this will be hidden and now you are good to go so this was all about the file manager now i'll just close this one and now let's open our terminal once again i'll just click on it and this time let's see how much resources our linux mint cinnamon is using so for that purpose, I'll use the utility that I have used earlier in Linux Mint Mate as well, which was htop. So I'll just hit enter. And here we have all the information about all the resources, processes that are running at the moment and how much resources are being used by each process. Here we have the information about the memory or you can say the resources that are being used by Linux Mint Cinnamon. Well, in terms of memory, it is using around 880 megabyte of my RAM, which is around 60 megabyte extra or you can say more than the Linux Mint Mate. So you can say that Linux Mint Cinnamon is a bit heavier on the resource side. But if you compare it with other Linux distribution, I would say it is still very less. So that was all about the resource consumption. I'll just close this one and now let's talk about the image viewer. So I'll just search for image and here we have image viewer. Well, again, it is like the same one that we had in our Linux Mint Mate. Now I'll just close this one. Now let's talk about the text editor. Here we have the text editor. I'll just click on this one and it is the same one that we had in Linux Mint Mate. So in terms of text editor and image viewer, both Linux Mint Cinnamon and Mate uses the same thing in both of these distribution. So in terms of image viewer and text editor, both Linux Mint Mate and Linux Mint Cinnamon uses the same kind of software and same kind of tools. I'll just close this one and now let's talk about software manager. So I'll just go to my menu and I'll look for software. Here it is. I'll just open this one and this is the same one or you can say it will be the same one that you have seen in the Linux Mint Mate. But still let's explore it and let's see what do we have in here. This is the software manager and for the banner they have used transmission GTK. And just like Linux Mint Mate we have some of the categories for different applications. But the difference is in Linux Mint Mate, these categories were at the top and here they are at the bottom. And Steam was in the categories of game. Now it is also available outside. Other than that, we have different other applications and software available that we can download and install in our Linux Mint distribution. Let's click on one of these categories. And let's see what do we get. So just like Linux Mint Mate, we have wine available, different games available. And if you scroll down, you also have Steam available here as well. Other than that, here we have some other categories available as well. For example, if you are looking for some game that are first person shooter, if you are looking for real time strategy games, turn based strategies games, you can click on these categories and, and those games will be filtered out for you. If I just click on first person, here I have all those games that are related to this category. So that was all about the software manager and let's just close this one. And at the end, let's see how does it look like at the lock screen. So again, I'll just click on this lock icon. And if you remember in Linux Mint Mate, we had lock icon along with its label. But here we only have the icon available. So I'll just click on it and our Linux Mint Cinnamon is locked. 
and here if you see we have a clock and we have a text field or you can say input field in which we just need to enter our password other than that we have an option to switch the user but that was not the case with linux mint mate as we had a separate pop-up for all of this so here i'll just enter my password i'll hit enter and we are good to go so that was all about the linux mint cinnamon and we are done with this video at the end you might be wondering that which one to choose well the short answer is it is completely up to you and if we talk about in bit detail well there are different variables that you should keep in mind for example if you are a new linux user i would recommend you to go with cinnamon desktop because it's very comfortable for the users that comes from windows operating system but you can also try mate desktop because more or less both are same and linux mint allows you to have multiple desktop environment in the system and you can easily try by yourself and choose which one you like the most and that was all about this particular video and i hope now that you must have enjoyed watching this one if that is the case do leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon and if you have anything to ask please leave a comment below i'll get back to you in the next video till then take care